Hey guys, welcome back to Obsessed with Videos for another update. This time it's a multimedia update as I've got two DVDs, two standard Blu-rays and one 4K Blu-ray in this update. So in total I've got five items in this update. So without further ado, let's get started with the DVDs. And the first one is... Existence. A Robert Lantos production and a David Cronenberg film. Play it, live it, kill for it. Wildly entertaining, great fun according to Film 99. And a razor sharp sci-fi thriller according to Daily Mail. This is a release from Alliance Atlantis from 2000, even though the film's from 1999. Distributed by 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment. This is... One of the few and the only one I and the and of what I know, the only Alliance Atlantis released in the UK on DVD to be released under their label. At least that's what I know of. I know a lot I know Alliance Atlantis released a few VHS tapes under their label in the UK, but from what I know this is their only DVD release before they were before they launched Momentum Pictures, which is their which was their UK division from 2000 up until 2013 when they were bought out by Entertainment One. Because Momentum Pictures was launched in September 2000, even though this was released in, I think, May 2000. I think one of the first home media releases from Momentum Pictures was the, the original UK DVD release of Reservoir Dogs, in which the film was from, like, 1992, but... It wasn't released on in DVD in the it wasn't released on DVD in the UK until late two thousand, and I know this because I've got the film on I've got that exact DVD release somewhere. And of course, from what I know, the first theat UK theatrical release from Momentum Pictures was. Oh Brother, Where Art Thou, directed by the Coen Brothers. And it was also a co-release between Momentum Pictures and Universal Pictures, because at that point, at that time, Momentum Pictures had a distribution deal with United International Pictures, who would handle the DreamWorks Pictures releases, the Paramount Pictures releases, and the Universal releases internationally at that time. Another release that I can... Some of the other releases that I can think of that they co-distributed included The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle, My Little Lie, and also Blue Crush as well. And also the 2004 Irish film Inside I'm Dancing, which is known in the US as Rory O'Shea Was Here. There's the disc itself. And the other DVD is Harriet the Spy, On Your Case. This is a Paramount release from 2003, even though the film itself was from 1996. This is a co-production between Paramount Pictures, Rastar Films and Nickelodeon Movies. This was also the first film from the Nickelodeon Movies label, shortly after Viacom, the parent company of Nickelodeon, bought out Paramount Pictures in 1995 because originally Nickelodeon ha in 1993 signed a distribution deal with 20th Century Fox where they would produce theatrical films based on some of Nickelodeon's animated IPs such as Doug and also Rugrats which funny enough they there ended up being a Doug film in the late 90s although that was when the production company behind Doug, Jumbo Pictures, was bought out by Disney. And also, of course, with Rugrats, that got a theatrical film as well in 1998. And two sequels, which were Rugrats in Paris in 2000, in 2000 and also Rugrats Go Wild in 2003. During the early days of Nickelodeon movies, they, most, they mostly made theatrical films both original and IP-based. But nowadays, they're doing more films for streaming services like Paramount Plus and Netflix. A few examples that I can think of included the Loud House movie, as well as Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie, and also 
the reboot of Snow Day and they're also doing Good Burger 2 as well and they also did Blue's Big City Adventure which is the film that's based on both the original Blue's Clues and also the reboot Blue's Clues and You because it has the hosts from both the original and the reboot. That's why some people called it Blue's Clues No Way Home because it's because it was very similar to Spider-Man No Way Home in a way. Because in a way it was similar to Spider-Man No Way Home with that premise and stuff. And another film that Nickelodeon's got coming up soon for streaming is Saving Bikini Bottom, the Sandy Cheeks movie for Netflix, which is the first of many spin-off films that were announced that were based on Nickelodeon's most popular animated series, SpongeBob SquarePants. In which, in 2025, they're doing another theatrical film based on SpongeBob called The SpongeBob Movie Search for SquarePants, which is due to come out in May 2025. And there's the disc itself. And now onto the standard Blu-rays in which the first one is Amsterdam, written and directed by David O. Russell, the director of American Hustle. The film has an all-star cast, including Christian Bale, Margot Robbie and John David Washington, alongside other ones like Chris Rock, Anya Taylor-Joy, Joey Saldana, Mike Myers, Robert De Niro, Rami Malek, Taylor Swift, and so on. This is a release from Regency Enterprises, 20th Century Studios, and of course Disney, because they're the current owners of 20th Century Studios. This is a release from 2022, both the film and its Blu-ray release. There's the disc itself, and as you can tell, it comes in one of those new thin cases that Disney have been doing since... 2022. I think some of the first Blu-ray releases they had with these thin cases included Nightmare Alley and also Pixar's Turning Red, which I've got on 4K Blu-ray with a normal case. And the next one is Marry Me with Jennifer Lopez, Owen Wilson and Maluma. This is a release from Universal, although it's outsourced to Medium Rare Entertainment and Fremantle. Also known as Fremantle Media and previously said Fremantle Media and their logo as well from 2001 to 2018 until they changed to that logo, which just says Fremantle. And there's the disc itself. This is one of the many releases that Universal has recently outsourced to medium rare i know they've also outsourced some other ones too like vengeance and also the monsters and the blu-ray and 4k releases of cocaine bear even though the blu-ray even though the dvd was distributed through warner brothers and also champions and also marcel the shell with shoes on which i actually saw at the cinema earlier this year and now onto the one 4K Blu-ray which I've got in this update, which is, well, earlier in the year I bought Maze Runner 2 and Maze Runner 3. And now I've got Maze Runner 1 on 4K from Fox from 2016, even though the film was from 2014. There's the 4K Blu-ray and there's the standard Blu-ray, which I used to have back in... March 2017, but now I've got the 4K Blu-ray instead. The 4K set, if you know what I mean. And that's it for this update, and stay tuned for more videos coming soon. See you later. Mm.